This train is named the Sunset Limited. Heading east to New Orleans, it's Amtrak train number two. On a curve like this one, we can see the locomotives. We're headed east, the direction in which Southern Pacific built America's second transcontinental railroad. Our first episode saw us leave Los Angeles. Now we're headed to Tucson, Arizona. Pacific guy. Still got a good one. There's our track crew. You gonna say where you're at? And we are west of Tucson, and there's Interstate 10. This is coming into Tucson. In the old schedule, this was at night. If you want to view the Tucson station, see part one of the Sunset Limited Eastbound, posted on letscreate.org. In today's show, we're pulling out of Tucson. Huge power plant, probably coal. Yeah, there's the coal cars right there. That's a coal coal powered power plant right there. And this is probably a coal processing facility. What are all these passenger jets doing parked in the Arizona desert? The dry desert air is preserving them. I'll let you know we'll be stopped for a moment to perform a safety check on the train. 177 will be moving here shortly. Thank you, folks. <laughs> While the train is stopped, let's take a quick tour of the sleeping car. This is what looks like inside the sleeper. There's two seats facing each other, but I can only film one at a time. A little control panel here for heat, the light, little controls. And then above here, this is the actually the top bunk but it's set up for the day so you can s sit upright but this actually comes down at night and there's a little bunk up there and that's where you sleep now if you're real lucky you'll get a compartment with a wife in it and <laughs> and that's that's uh, what we did here this is my wife and this is the the seat that's facing the other seat and as you can see it gives you a good perch for doing some video work uh, during the day and such and then there's controls behind her for lights and such there's a little table here that you can pull out and play cards or have a snack or whatever you want As you can see we have some water in here this is an area of the car you see Santa Claus there this is the area of the car where if you're in first class you can come and get a little juice in the morning or grab a bottle of water for people who like to start their day with some coffee, there's a big old urn of coffee here. Everything's kept very nice and clean because we have a really good attendant in that car. There's little things in this little cabinet like cups and things. And what's really nifty is down here. There's ice in here. So you can put ice in your drinks. So this is a, the mid part of the car. And then if you turn in the opposite way, these are, there's just one little aisle on the outside and these are the bedrooms. These are much bigger uh, spaces where people stay. Okay, so if we follow these stairs, they have to twist and turn as you can see. Down into the lower level. And you have to be in the lower level to get on or off of this train. Now right here is where you can store your bags. And as you can see, we have a lot of people with baggage considered uh, carry-ons. And these are the doors in the lower level where you can get on or off the train. Here we are in Arizona.
recycle in our car. And this goes into the dining room. As you can see, there's all kind of tables in there. That is the dining car. The breakfast lunch and dinner. This is the observation car, a great place to hang out and meet other passengers. And here's the passenger, <laughs> an unwary passenger. <laughs> And we're back in the room. Safety comes first on Amtrak. This train won't move until the safety check is finished and all systems are go. When we do move, we continue our journey east. We're still in Arizona. And there's lots of awesome desert ahead. 